America and Britain invaded Iraq with all the hula baloo and pronouncement that had weapons of mass destruction. After killing so much of the soldiers, the, the Republican guards of Saddam, and killed Saddam in the process, they found out with all its might and technology and human intelligence that there was no weapons of mass destruction. If somebody could explain it to me that it was right, stand there in front of me right now, that after all it was right to invade Iraq even without the weapons of mass destruction, undermining Libya, wanting to destroy Assad, putting in turmoil Egypt. Was there an explanation? Was there a digest? You know, this guy are really convoluted idiots. When you say, you want to prosecute me for what? It is not crime in my country, especially a president to warn, and even any president for that matter, or tell me, do not do it because I will kill you. Do not enter my boundaries because if you hurt the people there, I will go to war. I just don't know what's happening with the idiots in the other side. Why should I mix my country where the people who have said a very convoluted and almost insane theories of how to run civilization? Look at Aleppo when they could have just stopped it. But because earlier they were supplying the arms of the rebels against Syria, it was born out of the desperation of the radicals and rebels of Libya and Syria. That is the beginning of ISIS. America imported terrorism in their own territories not by human beings there in america itself and who was the first to enter the land and took off with the fat of the land oil british american french italian who imported violence america tell me that it was right to invade iraq even without the mass, uh, that was the only thing that kept them going. But there was these weapons of mass destruction. How many died? How many children died in the bombing of Afghanistan? How many died in the invasion of Vietnam only to lose it after several decades? And to burn the families there? How many times? Has this to be repeated 